Hello, good day everyone! If you have a YouTube channel, you should learn some basic editing. Today, I will discuss about the spinning transition in Filmora. So, watch this! transition effect stick around I'll show you how <laughs> okay first we open the filmora editor and grab the first clip to the timeline and keep Project settings, zoom to fit, timeline, shift save. Trim the clip to 5 seconds and delete the end part. Grab the second clip to the timeline. Move the playhead 11 frames backward using the arrow key. Align the second clip and again trim to a random length to your choice cut now double click the first clip and go to motion scroll down and select either a photo spin tree or four it's your choice which one you choose I choose photo spin tree for a counterclockwise spin motion. Double click and apply. Delete the second clip as well. And press OK. Then render. Now play it to see the result. Now then export to your desired settings. Name it. Export. It will take just a few minutes. Five seconds. Then find target and bring it back to the project media and choose to okay, delete the old clip again create the book and place the new one okay and then render it again yes there you go then preview now make sure the auto ripple is off Trim the portion of the first spinning. The second spin of the other clip. Position the playhead where the spin transition is happening. Right click and go to crop and zoom for alt C. Take the pan zoom, click pan and zoom 
and shrink the inner frame to the center. Make sure that the block space will not show. Then press OK. And split it. Right click on the second clip. And on the pencil, swap the start and end points. And press OK. Then render. And preview it again. Now drop the first clip, the first clip, and add to the duration to the clip at the top. Then split and align to the spin clip and delete the end part. Align it to the spin transition. Then split it. And delete the first one. Now we have a full clip with a spin transition. Then go to transition and add flash in between the clips to remove the fade block effect. Now for the final scene, go to the effects and add Cinema 21 plus 9, then render. And export to your desired settings. your file and then find the target. So guys, what are your thoughts on this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you think this video is worthwhile, <laughs> hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching! If you want to learn more about Filmora tricks and tips, click the card on the right upper corner. See you there!